How to draw a building in two-point perspective. Hello my friends, my name is Olga Sarakina and in this video tutorial I want to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to draw a building in two-point perspective by using a floor plan. So finally at the end of this tutorial you will get the same drawing as you can see now. So draw with me now, please get your pencil and a sheet of paper. Well, the first step is to take your plan and arrange it on a line that's gonna be your picture plane. So let's assume that we have some kind of a flow plan and this line is your picture plane. And let's say we have here an angle, for example, 40 degrees. So accordingly to the left, uh, it is 50 degrees. Well, you have your picture plane, you have your plan, and you have that point at which they meet. So you bring that line down. This is the station point, this is your location. Anything on this line is at the same scale as the plan. Through the station point runs the horizon line. So once again, the station point is the point which I marked with an I. Let's mark these two very important points. The first one is the, the station point and uh, above it is the point uh, where the floor plan or floor plan hits the picture plane. So now let's show the height of the building. Uh, let's we have our eye level, our horizon line, and I will measure our height, for example, 2 meters. So I measure 2 meters down from this line to find the ground plane. And that point directly below the point on the floor plan is the bottom of the corner of the building. We will measure everything here up to scale, at the same scale as the building. We located our station point accordingly to our vision and uh, so it encompasses the floor plan and our vision is approximately 60 degrees. Well, now you have to locate your vanishing points and the way that you do that is you have an angle here, let's say it's 40 degrees and an angle here, let's call that 50 degrees. So you will take a line that's 50 degrees, for example, and then project it up to the picture plane and up to the picture plane from the other side and then bring it straight back down to the horizon line. And that's your vanishing point left. Same exercise over here, we've already drawn a line 40 degrees up to the picture plane and now you will bring it straight down to the horizon line, so that's your right vanishing point. Now let's measure the height of our building, uh, let's say it will be three times as the uh, height of our eye level, our horizon line. Uh, and now this line that you drawn to scale, the top and the bottom, uh, you can bring back to your vanishing points. Well, now it's time to describe the size of this building. In order to find the end points, you start at this station point, draw a line up to that corner, and where that line intersects the picture plane, you bring it straight down, and that is gonna give you the end of that wall, that corner. The same thing here for this corner. You draw a line from the station point up to that corner where it intersects the picture plane. You draw the line straight down and that gives you that side of that building. Well, we are almost done. Now I'd love to put some shadows and add some color to the building. Now let's find the center points. To find them, a roof peak, for example, or any other element, you can graphically draw from corner to corner and the point at which they meet is the center. You can do the same thing on this side if you need to. So you draw a vertical line through that point. And finally, let's define the height of our rooftop. So once again, we, sh we should do that to scale. And after that, we come back to the horizon line, to our vanishing points. 
And at the end you can draw lines to your vanishing points through the points which are tops of these orange triangles, which are our rooftops. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon! Oh, 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 oh